So this is a problem which is based on axisymmetric element. So you need to find the element stresses for the given figure and the nodal displacements are given in the question. E1 is equal to 0 0.02 all are in millimeter and U2 is equal to 0 0.01 U3 is equal to 0 0.04 W1 is equal to 0 0.03, W2 0 0.06, W3 0 0.01 and Hengs modulus E is equal to 210 gigapascal mu 0.25. So here these are the axis 0 R Z. So the displacement nodal coordinates are given in your these are the nodal coordinates. Okay, if you want you can write nodal coordinates. Okay, and the nodal coordinates of the symmetric elements here at if you say this is the node 1 2 3 so here the coordinates are forty twenty and at node 2 80 20 at node 3 40 60 okay so these are at node 1 say this is R1 and this is Z1 and at node 2 R2 Z2 node 3 R3 Z3 you can you want you can write separately for this okay and the value of Hengs modulus we have to convert into Newton per millimeter square so 210 into 10 power of 3 Newton per millimeter square and this is a mu value 0.25. So for the axis symmetric triangular element, the element stresses can be calculated by taking the formula sigma is equal to D matrix into B matrix into displacement. Okay, nodal displacement. So where this D it represent stress strain matrix and B it represent strain displacement. matrix and delta that is nodal displacement okay so you have to calculate the displacement at each node now what is a strain displacement matrix so here uh, this strain displacement matrix having a formula first let me write d matrix E by 1 plus mu, 1 minus 2 mu, again it's a 4 into 4 matrix, one minus mu, mu mu 0. So mu 1 minus mu mu 0 mu mu 1 minus mu again 0 so here 0 0 0 lastly 1 minus 2 mu by 2 okay so here in this question i am just explaining the steps so remaining calculation you have to do your own okay because it takes more time 
I just explain the steps. So here you have to substitute the value of e mu and all the mu value you have to substitute in this equation and you have to calculate the d matrix. Okay, finally you have to calculate d matrix. So after that you have to calculate the b matrix using the formula b is equal to it's 1 by 2a so it is beta 1 0 next beta 2 0 beta 3 0 second row alpha 1 plus beta 1 or gamma 1 z by small r and here again 0 second second row second column and here again alpha 2 beta 2 r plus gamma 2 z by again r just wait okay now again 0 for beta 3 so here alpha 3 plus beta 3 r gamma 3 z by small r lastly 0 third row 0 gamma 1 0 gamma 2 0 gamma 3 last row gamma 1 beta 1 and delta 1 sorry mm. gamma 1 beta 1 gamma 2 beta 2 gamma 3 beta 2 okay so here uh, you have to calculate what is beta 1 and what is beta 2 okay so all the values we have to calculate separately and later you can substitute in this matrix for the strain displacement matrix so what is a area a is the area of the element so a formula is for a is equal to area of the triangle that is 1 by 2 determinant 1 r1 z1 1 r2 z2 1 r3 z3 so here you have to calculate the area okay now what is alpha 1 okay alpha 1 is there beta 1 and gamma 1 so alpha 1 is what so first we write alpha 1 alpha 1 is equal to r2 z3 minus r3 z2 so here you have to substitute this whatever the coordinates which you have mentioned starting with that you have to just substitute okay so it will take more time that's what i just write the formula so for alpha 2 r3 z1 minus r1 z3 next alpha 3 r1 z2 minus r2 z1 these are alpha now beta beta 1 is equal to z2 minus z3 beta 2 is equal to z3 minus z1 beta 3 is equal to z1 minus z2 beta 3 so uh, alpha beta now gamma this is gamma 1 so gamma 1 is equal to r3 minus r2 gamma 2 is equal to r1 minus r3 gamma 3 is equal to r2 minus r1 okay so 
so here you have to substitute and uh, in, in that strain displacement matrix you have to calculate again there is a r in the equation here so this r is equal to no for r r is equal to it is r1 plus r2 plus r3 by 3 similarly z is equal to z1 plus z2 plus z3 by 3 okay so after this you have to just substitute in the strain displacement matrix or the form of b then you will get the strain displacement matrix once you calculate the strain displacement matrix then you have to go for nodal displacement vector okay so the nodal displacement vector formula will be where delta is equal to its u1 comma w1 u2 comma w2 u3 w3 okay so here transpose now finally we have to substitute all this in the equation which equation where we have, we have startingly defined for the stress element okay there you have to substitute that is the formula is sigma is equal to it is d matrix first okay whatever the d matrix you obtain that you have to make it next b matrix then finally this delta okay so make all these matrix multiplication okay but matrix multiplication you have to do for all this then finally you are getting the sigma stress for the element so that is sigma r sigma theta next sigma z r this is shear stress finally shear stress r z okay whatever the uh, means uh, row one you will get one into four matrix so this sigma r value is sigma theta sigma z and tau r z the stresses will be we are getting okay so this uh, sigma r that represent the radial stress this represent the radial stress sigma r represent and sigma theta that represent the circumferential stress and sigma z that represent the axial stress and tau r that represent the shear stress okay so this is very important to make the matrix multiplication so finally you are getting these four values hope you understand the procedure thank you thank you for watching